Hello everybody and welcome to the Urban Madness Workshop. Uh, today, themr856 asked uh, if to change the spark plug whether you needed to remove any plastics or the seat pan. And the question is yes and no. Uh, a lot of it depends on the scooter. Sometimes you can get your hands up in there, sometimes you can't. But he says his school scooter is the same style mine is. Um, so he may not have to remove plastics, but let me show you where the plug is. Uh, I can show you on this 50cc, the engine's pulled out, it's the same layout as the 150. If you follow your fan, go up the shroud, there's the plug. And as you can see, it's easier. The seat pan is removed to get at it. This is your typical retro style scooter on mine to remove the seat pan have to take the battery out which is under here these four bolts seat pan lifts out and you can access it real easy let me show you where it is from underneath <clears throat> on my scooter That uh, chrome deal right there is the plug wire. I can't get my hands in there on this particular scooter up from the bottom. So on my scooter, I would have to remove the seat pan. It varies from scooter to scooter. And just because your scooter looks like this one, doesn't mean it's the same as this one. This is a little bit older one. It's a 2007 or 8. I'd have to look at the registration to be sure on the uh, later ones the uh, battery here is actually under here so you can just remove this whole deal without taking the battery out mine you have to take the battery out um, my buddies uh, on mine the gas tanks in the floor his gas tanks up here so it varies from scooter to scooter so even though it looks the same you need to look at it close uh, to determine whether you need to pull plastics off to change a spark plug. On some of the newer um, retros, there's enough room in there actually to get in and adjust the valves without removing the plastic if you have a lift. Um, mine, you've got to take the plastics off. Scooters look the same. They're not. Just subtle differences. So there's your answer. A little long-winded, but uh, that's uh, basically where the plug is. Another thing to note, don't change a plug on a hot engine. Let it cool down. Um, it's really hard on the threads and the head if you're uh, uh, changing the plug with the engine and it's warm. The aluminum's softer. So you should change your plug when the engine is cool. The only exception to that is if you're doing like a plug chop and that's an entirely different situation onto its own. That's where you're trying to see what uh, the scooter's running rich or lean under full throttle conditions. Uh, that's the only exception. And even then you can let it cool down after you've done your run. It's just better with an aluminum head to always have the engine cool before you uh, mess with the spark plug because if you uh, uh, mess up those threads it's a real mess it's gonna be time to change ahead so anyway guys there you go